Hi, and welcome to that Filthy Show. Well, it's October 25th, uh, in the chaotic year of 2021, and uh, it's our Halloween special. It's Halloween, it's Halloween, my girlfriend's gone nuts, she said it's like her Christmas. Uh, Alright, so uh, today on the show we have our makeup artist Deb. We had her last Halloween, it was so popular we brought her back. Uh, she's got makeup tips, but first, we're going to talk to Deb about how her year has been. Hey Deb, how you doing? It's been a year. What have you been up to? What have I been up to? Well, with COVID, not a lot, but what I have been up to has been pretty awesome. Nice to hear. So, uh, I mean, we personally talk throughout the year, but yes. for the stream, um, how a project's been, how's the world coming back for you, uh, how, um, you how you deal with it? Well, so far, not so bad. I'm not as busy as I was, obviously, with, you know, due to COVID re regulations and restrictions and stuff. But I have worked on a few films this year. One just got released on YouTube last week. I saw Called, that. Yes, Clown Motel Vacancies 2, Daddy. Daddy Clown. Daddy, Daddy Clown. Killer Clowns Ooh. by the name of Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's awesome, yeah. And okay. then there's another one called uh, My Inner Demon, the Gerald, Gerald, Geraldson tale. Oh, okay. And if you know Gerald, Gerald, Geraldson, he was a horror comic here in Vancouver. Yes. You mean yeah. he was or is he still is? Well, he doesn't really do it so much anymore. He's gone more into film now. Okay, because I remember so, he was very popular around Halloween. Like he was booked on every show on Halloween. Yeah. And that was pretty much it. <laughs> exactly. Well, his 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 shtick was he's a dead guy with a chewed up hand and a head. Yeah. He had a head of himself. And that was his, yeah, that's what he used to do. So but now yeah. he did a he did a found footage video um okay. on how to make found footage movies. Oh. But okay. ran into a homeless witch and managed to summon his inner demon. It's always yeah, nice so when you can summer in your, your inner demon. Yeah, you it's, it's now in film festivals. I would love to have plugged it on Facebook, but unfortunately, Facebook just deleted it all. Yeah, deleted what? the whole thing. Yep. All of it. Gone. Poof. I yep. mean, okay, all right now. Not just, not just Facebook jail but deleted his entire business page and the movie page. Holy shit. Yeah. Like I'm doing, t I'm do right now, boys and girls, I'm doing hard time in jail, in Facebook jail, but don't worry. Your love letters have been giving me a lot of support and Facebook Bubba hugging me every night has kept me warm, but this shit's got to stop. Like, it's a horror film. I can understand age restrictions. That is appropriate. Age there's, restrictions, appropriate. But there's barely even swearing. There's absolutely no nudity. Like, I've I've shown my stepkids most of it, except for the like extremely like gory stuff. But I mean, they obviously know that's what I yeah. do. That's how, that that puts that puts cereal on the table for them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, all they got to do is walk into here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, that's, I, I don't know. Me personally, I'm but, thinking censorship's getting a little too far and it's getting a little out of hand. As well, in, they want to cancel the new Michael Myers. They want to cancel the new Halloween because of what he does to the firefighters at the beginning. But it's a movie. I know. It's gore. I know. It's fantasy. It's, it's, it's art. It's like what censored art is what it's becoming to. Yeah, and it's, it's just getting out of hand. It's getting yeah. way out of hand. And because like next thing you know, they're like thought police. And then I, I made a joke about this, like, you know, censorship starts as we're protecting people and then slides easily into like, well, we're gonna just control information, which is just one step away from thought police, which basically ends up people like me freedom thinkers, free thinkers, and 
straight white men go on a train to a focus retreat camp, never to be seen of again. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep, exactly. But yeah, it's it's getting out of hand. It's getting way it out of hand. Is. Okay, besides that, because it sucks. Because I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's his income, it's his business, it's his art. Um, yeah. It's like a lot of work just flushed down the tubes. And well, it's not just his as well. I mean, there's the whole crew. Yeah. All, all of our hard work is now deleted because why? Have you tried YouTube or? Because I I moved from Facebook. To we're we're gonna. I think that's what he's gonna do is go from YouTube. I mean, the thing is, is we've got he's got stuff that's up on Amazon and stuff that's up, you know, on Tubi and all that kind of stuff. They don't have a problem with it, but now suddenly, I mean, the whole movie isn't even on Facebook. It was it was Clips. just the trailer. Oh man. <laughs> like, you yeah. know what? I mean, honestly, because with my band and with a lot of other people, because I'm not that bad. I know some other people no. who's like should be censored. There's a but, lot uh, worse out there. There are that, a lot worse out there that should be censored. Yeah, there are should some. Be censored. But I mean, um, but you know, again, it's not my place to control other people's information. No. Nor is it Facebook's or the government to control what you want. Like, because my other joke I have is uh, you got to let racists speak. I mean, I know they're ignorant and they're disgusting, but let them speak. So they have their five minutes, and then when they're five, when they start getting ridiculously stupid, I look at a kid and go, "See, son, see, son, this is why you can't marry your first cousin. This is why. <laughs> you know, it's just you let an idiot you you let them speak. They've yep. spoken. We move on. Everybody laughs and goes, you know what? You're an idiot. Let's move on. And now they have this understanding of like." Well, we're rebellious because they're censoring us. And people, you know, it's uh yeah, world's gone nuts. <laughs> it, it totally has. It totally has. But okay, yeah. besides the bad news about Gerald, 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 uh, again, sorry yeah. to hear that, dude. Sorry to hear that. It sucks. Um, what other projects are you working on? You got a kitty, apparently. I got a new kitty. Yeah, his name is Puddin. He's yeah. a little ginger brat. And he's, right now, I'll just post a picture of Puddin. He's. <laughs> and then we're back. He's also learned how to play wall harp with the fan on the, or the grate <laughs> on the wall. Or wall guitar, I'm not sure which. <laughs> okay, I got you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Cats are fun. I have oh, two. Right. They drive me nuts. Oh, I mean, I love them dearly, but some days I'm like, I don't like you two. Like today, he saved my sanity through COVID, though. I mean, same he with was mine. there for me to focus on when I didn't have a lot of work through the summer, and yeah, I mean, I, I can't live without a cat. Yes. There's no way, no way. I Even got though you. he wrecks everything, he's bad all the time. Is his new nickname? Just bad all the time. Yeah. Five spray bottles in the house. <laughs> literally i'm not joking we have five spray bottles in the house because there's always something in one room that he's going to knock pictures off the walls and swings off curtains and... yeah worst cat i've ever had but i love him but i love him <laughs> but i love him i do he's great he's all curled up on my bean bag right now looking all cute and... see that's how they do they do naughty stuff all day and then they do cute for five minutes and you're like oh i forgot well, yeah he's asleep so he's good yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay so besides cat saving your life uh okay. now that the world's opening up yeah somewhat um how are you feeling about that i'm liking it okay i, I finally got to go out to the vancouver badass film festival and see so many of my filmmaking friends that i haven't seen in over a year cool and um tristan's film was there reptile house okay the yeah film, oh that film anxiety oh my god i loved that film it was so good she was so great in it if I'll anybody that her... has anxiety you need to see it i'll it let is, her know oh my god it is beautiful beautiful yeah yeah and, yeah and... I, I i had a surprise film in there that i didn't know was going in that i'd worked on called extraction 
Okay. That, yeah, I did a fake swear, which was a really nice surprise. Yeah. And uh, that's nice that, you know, you're getting out, you're meeting friends, because uh, last Saturday was the first uh, pop punk. I never thought those two words would ever come together. Pop but punk. Uh, it was a pop oh, wait, punk. Wasn't that Avril Lavigne? No, no, punk? this is like a Green Day, um, Blink 82, that kind of stuff. Uh, there was a cover, like a pop punk cover band concert okay. I hosted. Like I emceed, like was going in the middle, telling jokes, introducing okay. the next band, giving things. Like uh, because we're in Ontario, we're just taking baby steps. Everyone had to wear a mask. Yeah, you guys standing. still have more restrictions than we do here in BC. Yes. 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 A lot we more. just have to be double vaxxed. Yeah. But so, yeah, we had to show passports, wear yep. a mask when we're standing, but didn't have to wear a mask when we're sitting. Because apparently COVID can't see you when you're sitting. That's how it was two weekends ago, but apparently it's about to change. So we're going to be back at full capacity. So you can be full capacity in a bar as long as you keep your mask on. Now, how you're supposed to drink, I don't know. And you're not well, allowed to dance. You're not allowed to dance. It's like footless, just not allowed to dance. Yeah. COVID-19 I mean, oh, oh, just What, what happens twins. if you accidentally shuffle too fast or you shuffle like too. twitch I'm, the wrong way, right? You go to Facebook jail. <laughs> COVID twitch going on. There's no, toe twitch, you're going to jail. Mm, uh, mm. God, I'm just, I'm looking forward to um, the world getting back to normal. Right, yeah, I just want to be able to go around and throw blood on people some more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not wrong with that. weird for it. You know, <laughs> what's wrong with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. Okay, Speaking so I'm throwing a blood on people. I got a couple of shows coming up in Victoria. Woo, do tell, do tell. Well, double show on okay. uh, the 28th, House of Horrors strip show that uh, Bloody Betty is actually coming back for a performance in. She hasn't, the Bloody Betty hasn't performed in about four years. All right. So yeah, she'll be doing a couple numbers there. And um, there's also, one, two, three, four, five other performers I'm doing makeup for as well and effects. Cool. And then on the 30th, we're back to Vancouver to Lana Luz, where Betty is into her band of daddy issues. And we're doing another show there with makeup and effects props, of course. I miss Betty. I miss Betty so much. Because as I said, uh, in Hamilton, uh, I try to explain to club owners uh what I do and <laughs> you know and the shows I've ran and they don't believe me they just look at me and go and awe going I'm sorry what bloody Betty was a one-of-a-kind show yes I mean some of the props I've had to make and some of the effects that I have done on the stage I agree they are completely unbelievable and until you've been shot in the face with them you don't believe you know, no. No, it's hard okay. to explain. Here, let's explain this, shall we? This was a prop. BB, BB Allen, BB, BB Allen. Allen. No, this, this tube attaches to a tank. So any form of liquid that you want to come off of here, because this fits on like a pair of underwear. I remember that yep. show. Yep. I remember that show very, very well. Yep. What a show. Yep. And uh, yeah, and yeah, I miss Bloody Betty trying to explain uh, my stuff. And I remember the B.B. Allen show. That was awesome. Um, no. And so you're hopping on the ferry, going to Victoria for Halloween, or at least the Halloween weekend. Yeah. So that's always good. Yeah. Um, and what else you got going on? What else have I got going on? Um, I've got uh, a, a film festival actually coming up at the end of next month. A uh, contest, 72 hour sick and wrong film fest. So it's Ooh. going to be myself. My... Yep. Nadine. Okay. From Blue Girl Films. Um, okay. Becca Kozak, who just did a documentary on women horror makers in the Lower Mainland called Girls with Guts. <laughs> and then whoever our victims are going to be. 
So we have a cabin rented. We're all going to pile into this cabin for 72 hours and not come out until we have a rendered short film to hand in. Or a triple homicide. Or well, a triple. Then, that, then that's still a film, right? Like, yeah. hey, then it saves me on making blood. It's a true story in the making. Exactly. True story. It is. True story film in the making. It is. Oh, it's going to be a blast. The last one that I did was, I think, almost six years ago now. Oh, shit. And, uh, yeah, that was with, um, oh, actually, um, yeah, I'll give you the picture of the crew. All that right. was with Dr. Dave and, and Samantha Mack and... Anastasia Sugar and like a whole long list of awesome film people and we did a short called Rippers about right. strippers that were cannibals that would kill men and turn them into hot dogs and then sell them at the bar after like after bar hot dogs cool. yeah outside the strip mm. club Ooh, great there goes street we went, meat and hot dogs forever for me <laughs> yeah doesn't everybody like going to the penthouse though? Oh yeah, I love the penthouse. I <laughs> mean, was at the penthouse, yeah, like of course it was I at love, the penthouse. I love the fact the history of the penthouse, like because one day I walked in and I walked in and I was like sat down. And I told one of the waiters, I'm like, so someone told me this place is haunted, and she's like, be right back. And this big burly guy comes and sits right down. And I'm like, who did I piss off now? He's like, so you want to know about the stories of this place? And I'm like, yeah. And it consists for like a good 35, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. tell me all the ghost stories and the history of the penthouse. And wow. I was like, dude, you got to do tours. You got to do two. Like, it was awesome. And I would yeah, love he, to turn that place into a haunted house at Halloween. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that would be. be uh, but really, are you house. turning it into a haunted house or are you just exposing the hauntness that's there? Well, you know, probably, you know, feed it and bring the energy yeah. up a little. Yeah. Gotcha. Got to gotcha. poke, poke the bee's nest. You know? Yes. Got it. Got it. So I received a video from you and I'm going to air it now. So yeah, that was uh, that was interesting makeup video, and uh, always, we always. Uh, for those who didn't know, because I forgot to introduce you this way, is um, how many years have you been doing makeup? Fifteen now. Fifteen years, and 15 you've obviously years. worked on a lot of films that you plugged, and a lot of films in the past. Yes. What's we your can... favorite film? My favorite film now. Is that for right. effects? Is that crew? Is that that's kind of a loaded question? Okay, like how's my this favorite. <laughs> no, my, my favorite, my favorite, favorite to work on was probably the longest one that I worked on, which would have been Peelers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And cool. that that spent almost two years in festivals and has more laurels than there is room for on a screen. Gotcha. Yeah. And uh, another question. What's your weirdest moment on set? 
There's been so many. <laughs> oh my God, on set or on a Betty show? Oh, both. Oh. <laughs> we can swap weird moments on Betty shows all day. Oh, weird long. moments on Betty shows. You know, I actually used to bring my phone into the green room and record little snippets of conversations just because. But I, I, I actually think it's not so much the shows and being there, it's the lists of effects and things that I get asked to make. Because some of these grocery lists of body parts and things I have to do are some of the most hilarious groupings of weirdness from like, I need a finger that I can chew to a bottle of glitter come when I can shoot 20 feet. Like, <laughs> Again, you never, know. you never know. When I try to explain Betty shows, <laughs> people just look at me with this blank look like, you're just messing with me, right? Yes. Like, this is not I, real. I, I no, it's all real. Glitter come. Glitter come. Yep. Glitter come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh God. Uh, All right. Well, I miss the cobalt. <laughs> I miss the cobalt too. Um, we're going to wrap this up because I know you got a lot going on and I got stuff. This, uh, I got stuff. <laughs> I got world to deal with. But um, <laughs> where can people find you? Again, I did it last year. Me? Yeah. So far, you can still find me on Facebook. One of the few. One of the few. I'm still there. I try to keep my stuff fairly common clean so I don't end up in jail like you <laughs> fight the power fight the if, power if you if you want to see pictures of my cat I have a TikTok account but that's all I post I don't I, I'm not allowed to post any of my makeup I get banned instantly none of my videos will ever go through they're too gory they're too gross even for a warning label wow uh, Deb Grafenstein at TikTok yeah but yeah there you won't find any of my effects on there well, actually, I got away with one, and that was when I got a thousand followers, and I took a piece of fake skin and carved, thank you for a thousand, into it, but I had to send them a letter to begin with saying this is fake, this is makeup, and, like, explain out the butt, this wasn't real. Gotcha. Yep, and then also Instagram. Cool, and Instagram is? Instagram is Grafenstein. Grafenstein, all right, Grafenstein. check them out. It's Grafenstein, yep. Yeah. Check yep. her out. She's awesome. And, yep. And if you want to check out the Killer Clown movies, Mills Pictures on YouTube. Okay. And Mills, Mills Pictures. Pictures Productions. I'll have all those links on the bottom in the comment yep. section. And uh, all right, Deb, it's been fun. I hope you have a great, well, happy Halloween. Yeah, thank you. Um, happy Halloween back. And happy Halloween. And, and yeah. since my new girlfriend, uh, Halloween started us started for us apparently late September so 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 I read yeah yes so yeah and it's, it's been Halloween all month it's Halloween all year <laughs> here what's your problem I'm new to this <laughs> I'm new to this all right Deb it's been wonderful to this. have a great time you thanks too. for joining us oh no problem talk to you later yeah okay <laughs> bye-bye <laughs>